Master Gardeners, I've been out planting pansies and I found a whole bunch of ladybugs and they're a little bit different than the usual ladybug that I see. Instead of being that dome shaped, it's a little bit more elongated. They're almost a quarter inch long. So I looked it up. This is the sp pink spotted lady beetle. And so she overwinters traditionally near agricultural fields. And there's two unique characteristics. Not only is the shape unique, because she has three distinct body parts, but she also consumes 50% pollen, which is probably another reason that she's attracted to my flower garden here. You know the word lady is named after probably the Virgin Mary, because it's sort of a deified insect, because they're enormous consumers of aphids and other insects. What a predator. And this one's native to the United States, to Canada, to Mexico, to all of the United States. And there's 5,000 different species of ladybugs. Not all of them are predators like this one. Like the Mexican bean beetle that gets in your garden, that's in the same family, and that's an enemy. But this pink lady beetle will actually consume the eggs of that particular one. So this is a really good one. Come on over and let's take a zoom in, look real close at what they look like. Let me dump them out of this bucket. We found them. In the winter, they congregate in mass. And so here's a whole bunch of them crawling around let's get them upright so there they are over in here can you see all different there they are there you can see them moving so see the long bite about they get six dots on each side and about a quarter of an inch long and in mass they were all inside of this bucket they'll be in crevices of trees and along rocks and places like that so that's traditionally where they go that's traditionally where they can be. So she eats the eggs of Colorado potato beetles. She'll eat the eggs of the Me Mexican bean beetle. She'll even eat the eggs of a cabbage worm. So all different kinds of insects, a fabulous predator. And you know, the red color indicates that it releases alkaloids. It's a bitter flavor. So it's a lot of times your birds and things will not come and eat them just because of their color. So there it is, the pink lady be beetle that you can easily identify. She's pink in color. So have some fun. Maybe you can find them in your garden, Master Gardeners.